Well, what's up you guys, this is Adana. So I'm really excited because I have a giveaway for you guys. And this giveaway is gonna be centered around the PA cat. So some of you may be wondering, what is the PA cat? I've never heard about this thing. Like, what, what should I know about this? And that is exactly what we're gonna be addressing in today's video. So let's get into it. Hey y'all, it's Zidana, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about the PA cat. And some of you may know about the PA cat if you are kind of like really into getting into PA school and you're like in the throngs right now of application season. Um, some of you may not know about the PA cat and that's why I'm here, to help you know and understand about the PA cat, okay? So I just recently did an Instagram Live with one of my PA colleagues and we were talking about the PA cat. And the PA cat is the physician assistant college assessment test. Sounds familiar? Yeah, you know, it sounds familiar. If you were into healthcare and medicine in general, uh, you've heard of something called the MCAT. The MCAT is specifically for med school, but the PA cat is for PA school. So it should be a better assessment of who you are or who you could potentially be as a PA student. Now, with that being said, it is a very brand new test. It's only been like a few years in the making. More and more schools are requiring the test, but the most, majority of programs right now are recommending it. The GRE is still king at this moment in time. However, the PA cat is slowly making a run for the title of college like assessment for PA school because it is geared towards physician assistant students or pre-PA students, I guess you could say. So it covers the nine subject areas um, that you would already be taking into consideration when trying to apply to PA school. So anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, all of those sciences. And on top of that, it's a better assessment of who you are um, at that moment in time, right? So you can study, you've been studying these sciences throughout undergrad, if you are a biology major or a chemistry major, or if you're just interested in being a PA, You've been taking these prerequisites so it's fresh in your mind as opposed to you know something like your other standardized tests that we have to take for PA school where you're you're doing like all these maps that you're not necessarily taking and you have a lot of writing that's not what this test is about okay so with that being said how much does the PA cat cost so the PA cat costs $149 plus $79 for a total of $228. The $149 is for the actual exam. The $79 is for the test center. So you have to keep in mind that when you are planning to take this exam, you're gonna have to dish out $228. So it sounds kind of steep, but you're, you're, it's like any other essentially standardized exam that you're gonna be taking for higher education, okay? Now that we have all all of that out of the way, how do you study for this brand new exam, right? This is this is new, it's something that's fresh, it's on the market. Um, how are we studying for it? Because you've never heard of it before. So that is where I, my giveaway comes in. So Rosh Review has partnered with Exam Master to create a PA Cat Cubing. Now if you've ever heard anything about Rosh Review, like I've done a few videos about Rosh Review, but specifically for PA school, but Rosh Review covers like all across the board. They have stuff for med students as well. Um, and you know, they have stuff for PAs as well. So just all of your certification exams and recertification exams, they are a go-to resource for you in terms of helping you study for that. And now they're hitting the market with respect to the PA cat for pre-PA students so that when you are trying to study for this exam, there's a QBank for that, okay? So QBanks are essential when you're you're trying to just kind of remember make sure that you know exactly what you've been studying that you, you're not you just haven't memorized this okay this is not just a straight memorization thing you actually know the material and that is why Rosh Review is a great tool and asset for you guys to use because it will help you get a better assessment of where you are and what you may need to spend a little bit more time studying so I'm gonna take you through the Rosh Review PAQ bank we're gonna do a couple questions and then um, I'll come back and talk to you about the rest of the giveaway. 
Okay, so here we are on the home screen. You can see that it says the PACAD QBank because that's what we wanna do. There are a bunch of boost exams down here that you can pay extra for, but we're here for the PACAD, so let's get into that. So you have here, you can create an exam. When you go into create an exam, you can name the exam. You have the opportunity to choose the number of questions. I usually choose anywhere from 10, 30, or 50 questions. You can choose the type of questions that you want to see. So all of the questions, the questions you've gotten wrong, the ones you flagged, or the ones that were unused. There are 434 questions available right now on this QBank. And when I was first approached about this about a month ago, there was only a little bit over three. 300, so they're adding more questions every day. There is an opportunity for you to choose test mode or tutor mode. Tutor mode will give you uh, the reason why you got the question wrong, while test mode just essentially puts you in a testing type environment. And then you can also choose whether or not you want it to be timed or untimed. So there is also the opportunity here for you to go and check out your exams that you've done. I have both access to the didactic QBank and the PACAT QBank. So the didactic QBank, if you guys wanna hear more information about that, I can make a video about that. Just leave a comment in the comment section below, but that will help you during didactic year of PA school. So here we're going to go to the exams tab. So this is where all of your exams will show up. You see that I already have an exam in progress right now. Um, you can see all of the exams that you had in progress and that you would like to resume. You can also go to your performance analysis, which shows you your projected PACAT score and then the probability of passing. So let's resume this exam. What stage of protein synthesis occurs at a ribosome and is responsible for reading the codon sequences within the messenger ribonucleic acid? So, I mean, if you've done biology, then you know uh, that you have like translation, transcription, um, termination is obviously ending of that, but I would say translation and I would be correct. So it goes through explaining, like I said, because this is tutor mode, talking about all of the various different aspects of um, the whole messenger RNA system. It tells you why the answers you got were wrong or right. Uh, and then there's this option for going further here. So it's really good. And there's a peer comparison. During which phase of the cardiac cycle are all the valves closed? Um, I'm going to probably this, I'm not really like that good at the heart, but I would say like probably ISO while I'm the ISO one because you know nothing is happening um, there's no exchange and I would be correct so here again if you look at the corner it says the peer comparison it shows you that 63 percent of your peers have gotten the same answer correct um, and it's really good so I really like that so let's just back back out of the Roche review and we can go back to the home page so I wanted to show you guys here again, you can name the exam. So I'm just going to name it test. I'm going to just choose five questions. You can choose unused, which typically is what I would say you do, and then create your exam. Once you create the exam, you have the opportunity when you go off to the side where it talks about um, all of the questions. So you can see at the top, you can highlight, you can flag questions, you can save them for later. But then when you go off to the corner, you can choose to see all of your questions, only the flag questions or the questions that you haven't attempted. So you're able to skip to the next section, which is really good for people who are like, you know what, I need to see this because I don't want to just look at the one question. Maybe I don't know this. Let me go to something else. So I think it's a really good opportunity for you guys to actually get um, access to PA cat type questions and learn. So that was it. That was the QBank. And you see it's very user friendly. You can choose how many questions you want. You can decide, yeah, you know, I only have time for 10. So let me just do these quick 10. Or maybe you want to do a little bit more of a practice and you want to do 50 questions. It's up to you. And that flexibility is really essential when you're studying because you want to be able to crack down uh, on certain times later on let's say closer to the test maybe you want to do more 
test questions versus further out where you're still kind of getting your bearings. So hopefully you guys really like that. Um, and if you did really like that, what I need you to do right now is right now in the comment section, tell me what it is that you liked about that PA Cat Q Bank. Um, tell me the things that maybe you feel could be improved, uh, but essentially leave a comment for me because I have two free 365 day uh, access codes to give away for two of my lucky subscribers slash followers um, I, via YouTube and Instagram. I will be giving away two free 365 day subscriptions to the Ross Review PA Cat Q Bank, okay? I will be announcing the winner on Instagram, so you have to follow me on both YouTube and Instagram, and you also need to follow Ross Review on YouTube and Instagram as well, okay? I will be having somebody verify exactly if you're doing all of the components of this giveaway, and I mean, the, the winner is gonna be announced very shortly. It's like a 48 hour turnaround, so please be sure to make your comments, write your comments in here, go ahead and follow Rosh Review, follow myself on Instagram and on YouTube, and we will get you that giveaway. If you don't happen to win the giveaway, fear not, it's okay, because I do have a 25% off code um, for the PA Cat Q Bank. So what you, all, all you have to do is put in the code, which is Adana25, um, I will leave that that correct spelling for you because sometimes people don't know how to spell my name and that's okay. Um, but I will leave that for you. You add, put that in and it will get you 25% off of the PA Cat Q Bank, okay? But that is it. So this is a new test, guys. It's coming for you guys. <laughs> if you're interested in PA school, you have to be preparing for this because it is essential um, for you to ensure that the schools that you're applying to don't require it or if they do require it, that you are actually taking the exam. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see who wins. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please again, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Ask me any question you have um, or may want. I will do my best to answer it in a prompt and timely fashion. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and on the PA. Follow Ross Review on Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram at Get That's the University. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.